Oh, and it's mid to model pool. I could get that in my hand if it's ready. Uh, mid to model pool for, with uh, an introduction to a new build. Uh, another buddy build with Greg Riley. Um, he's just finishing off today's Storm Tiger. I believe he's going to do a video of it later today to put it up uh, as a, a final reveal. So that'd be good. And uh, of course, uh, when this goat gets uploaded, Elon Musk probably already done it because I've just remembered that uh, I'm going to put this on hold till Tuesday. I think that's when he wanted to start. Or I'll release it. As soon as uh, as soon as he's ready to release his um, introduction as well. So anyway, so it's a bunny build with Greg Riley again, as I said, and it's a HMS Dreadnought, and there it is. And the kit number is zero five three two eight. Now the good thing is, when I was holding it to the screen, I can actually look on the big screen because I've got two. That's why I make, sometimes I look over to see if I'm still in focus, but I'm okay. Well, here we go then. So this is going to be a good build, uh, a belly build with Greg, and we're going to actually. I'm going to start it. I have actually done something to this kit, and I must. I've got to admit to that. Uh, basically, when we, when I purchased this kit years ago, and then I watched a video of it when we was talking about it about three months ago, me and Greg about doing this bit as part of the builds we've got lined up. And what I remember is uh, people said that the the two whole parts it pass and the top um, deck don't fit very well so concerned me a little bit so I thought myself as I was doing a bit to me Nelson at the time I believe so what I decided to do is um, get it out clean it up as much best I could a clean up and, and what I mean is remove all the seams and any little raised areas on the joins that join the two holes together did that took a little while on that glued them together and perfect they, they, it's okay so that's good also then I put the obviously all the strengtheners in while I was doing that as well so you've actually got the strength uh, running through you'll see that when I show you it in a minute at the bench and also I drilled two holes in the bottom to make sure that I got uh, the right uh, opening for my pedestals and and while I was doing that I also did the stand because I used the whole holes to measure put the locations for it in the bottom of the clear case so when i put the pedestals in they're all that's all in situ and the nuts were put inside and i used a, a, a resin uh, solution to actually hold it in place the good thing is because it's that when you screw in it's pulling it down it, it's actually uh, not doing anything uh underward to the actual fitting of the nut inside and that's really in this it's solid it's okay so that's done and then then i tr took the stick part out and also took the um the uh the top bit that goes along the top the upper uh, structure as well just to make sure they fit because there was mentioned as well so what i think i do is do those as well clean them all up as as i did before previously got rid of any seam marks and the depth slid into place quite nicely and it's okay so there's no problem with that at all including the top bit there's a slight um camp chamfer on it basically but i can with a bit of glue because it's not bad it'll hold it all down when it comes to the, doing that in later on so that's it that's where she is now i did put the force um the uh propeller shafts or, or screw shafts or whatever i just call them propellers for now propeller shafts on underneath because uh, there's i think there's four of them if i remember and i put them in place clean them all up and they're in place as well so that's as far as that kit went that was just test fit in make sure those components which was a bit concerning that, that would be okay and they are so i'm quite happy with that now they they the only bit that's up there now is the hole itself sitting on the, pl the plastic stand which i did to make so it could sit on there and it's sitting on in the case where it is just to keep it out of arm's way and that's it now here's the box this is the actual kit box and and there she is oops if i can get in there good there you go so that's 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 what she is looks really nice and it you say nice picture on the front and all i must admit so really looking forward to doing this one right then so what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to the bit oh yeah i will say that the nelson isn't going to be forgotten because uh this thursday i've got the gas man coming for the new border in so what i'm going to be doing is i'll be taking all my mushrooms as uh, ron calls them we couldn't take them downstairs to do that i think i mentioned that in a previous video as well so that, that'd be friday anyway of this coming week right let's go down to the bench and have a look see what's in the box or what's left in the box because there's still a lot in there here we go then uh, I thought this would be quite good uh, to show in a box of this size. So really looking forward to this build. As I said, here it is, 350 of Dreadnought and Trumpeter. And as you can see, and if you want to, you can freeze that bit and actually uh, read it. I think you can read it over there. Yeah, you can. I can just see on the monitor. Lovely. So there you go. And on the other side, you've got the old bits of the box with the dreadnought and 
obviously the PE parts and they're in the kit so we've got kit parts and plus my head weld so I've got on backed up bit first I like to use some of the kit parts because sometimes the kit parts are a bit stronger and thicker to work with there you go so there you go and uh, just out of interest that's what we do with our box I'll do my box when I'm gonna be the ones I'm working with uh, with Fred with so there you go I'm hoping that sun's gonna come off that that's the light's gonna come off that a little bit there you go Oops. so if I do that yeah, it just keeps it off a little bit, doesn't it? Here we go. So let's get it out there. And the first thing I'm going to see is a lot of shiny bits. But anyway, that's the deck. It's a bit of chain, and there it is. Very nice. You get actually masks in this one as well, as you can see. Now, obviously, if you if, if you need them or not, but I'm, what I'm going to be doing is painting up painting up the hole in the correct colour and then obviously the, the deck will fit over the top so it saves painting anything underneath the deck and that's the idea of doing it so looks nice and you've got actually a nice wooden uh, plinth there to put it in there if you wanted to as well and I might use that actually so you never know there you go that's that bit I'll put it over out of the way and the next thing we've got there is the deck and as you can see it's just off the sprue because I cut the sprue in half so it fits in the box easy and I cleaned up all this round so it's actually it actually fits really nice into the actual hole that we're going to be seeing in a minute. Well I'll have to switch off to go and get that because it's up there. So that's where I'm going to put that over there as well. And next bit is is the upper superstructure, or the lower part of the superstructure, which is still the upper bit of the actual deck deck bit. And there you can see, and just to show you very nice. it's all be all covered with wood anyway it, it's very nice indeed you can see there you go put that over there take the bits out now and there's my pedestals and these are the brass bits and i said brass earlier on and there it is and as you can see brass bay is actually aluminium barrels but that doesn't matter because uh, there's how uh, many turrets in there there's quite a few turrets in this one it's uh one two yes yeah, quite a few one two three four it's five, isn't it? I thought it was more than that. Uh, one, two, three, four. four. There's five. There you go. And and there's the actual barrels. And that's the kit. If you want to get this one, there's the actual number. If you freeze frame, you'll be able to get that information there. I might just show the photo edge now. This is a, the actual, not the kit photo edge, but this is Edward. If I tilt it slightly like that, there you go. I think you can get it. Oops. If I do, there you go. And that is the actual number you want if you're doing the 1907 one. And there's the AMRAIL, so you've got a load of those. So that's that one. And then this is this, that's the actual, um, they call that one the railing set. And this is the actual uh, detail set. And there it is. That's what it looks like. And then there's the number if you wanted it. As you can see, it's quite a bit there. Um, a few bits and pieces. There is some stair cases there as well, as you can see them. I don't know how you fold them little small ones, but this will be a learning uh, learning curve for this this small size for, st for the steps. But there you go, that's that, them two bits. Right then, move that a bit, put that over there, move that bit there. I think I can actually take this out, this, out the actual thing. There we go, let's get this. I'll get that over there. There you go. These are the boats and bits and pieces. Quite a nice detail. And obviously, I think these go at the top of the mast bits of mast. And I think there's, I don't know where that one goes, but uh, we'll find out later. <coughs> Put it back in his bag, excuse me, coffee now. There you go. Now this, was where, where the actual parts were that I took off obviously the, the hole and this has been cut in half as well because there's another bit down here somewhere uh, here it is that's the other parts of it so it's quite a bit missing off there but it's all been taken off and used and you see there's bits missing but that's to do the bits I did the propeller shafts and there's a bit more of the this bit here because the bits that go along the side of the ship, I actually put those in the actual uh, stabilizers that run along the side of the hole. I did those as well because it's all part of the build to make sure, and I thought myself, I might as well do that to get it done. So that was that one. Move that bit up out of the way. Then we go to this bit. I'm going to have to, I'll 
this is another part this was part another part of the sprue and um, it's a sea sprue and details are quite nice as you can see there's a mask it's going to be a plastic mask I think I don't I don't I might be trying to do some brass rod or something I'm not sure yet uh, may go with a plastic one there you go so I'll put that there cut this bag because this one needs to do it there you go this is an X sprue and this one's the um, F sprue It's like anything, until you get used to using it on a monitor, there you go. Details are nice though, that's the thing. Of course I'm talking it about an angle now, I must say. There you go, I'm getting used to it now. There you go. That's that one. Oh, another bag to undo. As you can see, I haven't done any of these bags. Oops. There you go. And another sprue. Just getting used to the camera angle and knowing where bits and pieces are. But yeah, it looks very nicely detailed. Got the two funnels there. You can see these two bits here. Very nice. It looks so small compared to the actual um, the actual Nelson. Obviously, being one to one scale would be. There you go. Put that one back in his bag. That's it. And then we come into. I'm going to have to take this one out. Uh, where's I put my knife? Oh, I dropped on the floor. And that's what that bang was. There we go. Right, let's get this one out. And these are the turrets, obviously, and fittings. You've got two lots. Now I'm going to have to make sure I use this. I'm going to try and keep that foam in between. And I think the other one's a duplicate. Yes, it's a duplicate, so I may have to show this one. Um, there we go. Gives you an idea of the detail. Barrels are there. They've got holes in them, but I think the metal ones will look better. So anyway, so there they are, and the other one's the same, so that's okay. I'll put that back in its bag. It needs a foam between it to protect the parts. And um, this is the kit parts then for the PE. I'll get rid of that. And. For the other side. It looks like for the boats, but it looks fit. Yeah, the boats. And they've got steps on there as well. Yeah, so that's okay. And that's better. And you've got two chimneys. As you can see, the two chimneys have got the same as what I'm building for the actual um, Nelson as well. So very similar things. What is spiders? I'll call them little spiders. And a chain in there as well. And then the other side, hand rolls. Now, with, I don't think there's enough hand rails to go around the whole ship, so the, the actual Edward set would really come in handy for that. And that's a bit of plastic I was used when I was doing my bits. And then we've got the, I'm not going to take them out of the bag, but the flags. There you go, I think you can just see them. Royal Navy flags, the ensign, there you go. And um, I've got this 350th suitable for rigging the ships and I've got this one I've got plenty of rigging anyway stuff but I've got this one because it says 350 and I thought I'd have a look and see what it's like so oops there you are there you go right that's it so I'm going to put all this back in the box and then next thing I'll do I'll do this off camera. I'm going to put it all back in the box and I'll have the hole down here in a couple of seconds to, to, to show you. Excuse my hand going around the corner. Mm. 
Right then, we're back at the bench, and this is this is the spade case. It's not very big, obviously, but it's obviously for this particular model. But as you can see, um, th this is what I've done. And now, I don't know if you can see, that's how I uh, did the nuts and bolts and in there. I reinforced the, the, the hole inside with plastic card as well to give it a bit, a bit more strength, and that's what that bit of plastic was still in the box. That'll go back in my spares box later on. Did the other end. How did the uh, the strengtheners all the way through, and including the small one at the end. And as I said, I cleaned out really, really carefully to make sure it goes. And swing over the other side, and as you can see, I've done a lot of fit. If sound funny enough, you can't see the filling, but it's as smooth as a baby's bottom, as they used to say in the old days. But you can see the nuts uh, quite through, through there, and you can see where I actually got the, the shafts in place as well. So it's all been built for that part. So that's as far as. Now, I haven't drilled any of the holes yet, and I will be drilling out the old. Um, the pulled holes because that'd be the first one but as you can see that's what it is now this is the case now if i take that bit up this just to protect the, the bottom you can see the two holes in there and they line up perfectly with the pedestals that are in a box that you saw in the, in my model kit you'll see the pedestals later i will show them when i'm actually building it so what i do is to protect the old clip i'll put it in there and that sits there and that sits there on top of there just just to keep it so when i'm building it on the depth desk that's the, the stand it will be on um so that that's where i am so far with this particular build and so um i, I could actually leave it together i know greg will catch up quite quickly because he does uh, a lot of uh, time at the bench uh, more than me because where i go out for walks in the morning with the wife and we do bits and pieces of other things uh, just like greg does for shopping and stuff from going to see his mum and so it's all the same thing so but, but sometimes on a day that he's not doing hardly uh, anything at the bench i i get the time to do it so there you go so anyway just that's show you how far i've got with this kit and as you can see <laughs> the superstructure is too big for the actual um, Nelson to go on here. Uh, you can see I've done a little bit at the back of that one anyway. The handrails on now. There you go. Got the handrails and bits and pieces on there. Not glued in place because obviously there's things underneath that go there. But that's there. So anyway, what? So that's bit bit done. And uh, hopefully then this will be uh, starting on Tuesday or whenever Greg's ready to start as well because if he starts wants to start earlier that I'll do it so so the date of this video we're recording will be today which is Sunday but obviously it, it may not be uploaded until Tuesday so anyway so thank you very much for watching and a quick shout out to Ron Calvary uh, over at uh, his model ship model ships I actually got up this morning and actually saw saw his video the normal time instead of early hours in the morning I love what he's doing, and 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 it gives me tips as well. You you can't, no matter who the model is, you'll get tips off them. And I've used his clamp method. He's but I didn't make the wooden blocks for putting the, the actual tweezers in. When I was old, uh, where's my tweezers? Uh, anyway, the black tweet. Oh, where they are? These tweezers. I actually sharp. I actually sharpen these off, as you can see to actually go into small gaps to do the steps on, on the Nelson. But also, the good thing about these pinchers in the he uses them, he has a wooden block and slides it on it. But what I've done is I've actually put it on a clamp and use one of these clips to, to hold it closed. And it works. So it's the same principle, but it's actually using a crocodile clip. I think his might be safer uh, and I might make a block up later on because of the weight as well. Uh, but I use this in the actual helping hands as well. So yeah, it does work doing it that way. And I might get some more of these ones just for doing precisely that. It's really good. Anyway, so thanks Ron for that tip. I'm using your block. I'm going to still going to make a couple of blocks up, I think, just to, so I can use, do the same method because I think the weight of the block will be really good as well. Right then. So that's that one. Uh, Charlie Mac again, the nice one there. And Greg Riley's channel as well. Um, I'll think of some more for the next one. I might have a search of the ones I keep looking at on a regular basis. Oh, I'm, not, I'm going to have to thank someone that was do it, had finished his, his um, Arizona, the one 200 scale one, and I asked him what the height was for, for, for the actual ship, and he said it was just over a foot, about a foot, from the bottom of the hole to the top of the top mast. The reason I want that is because I want to have a case made for that one so that when I've got it, when I start building it and it's finished, I can actually put it into a case a bit similar to this one. Anyway, so I'll get those made, so, and uh, 
and and so I can send away from that a bit later on anyway. So th so that's what I want to do. So I'll be looking out for his, his website, I'll call him, and then I'll be able to thank him uh, on by doing a um, shout outs. So thank you very much anyway. So my next one there will be a few shout outs, and I'll catch you on the next one. Happy modelling. Just going to go and switch the camera off.